Who is God, Jesus or the Father? Jesus said they're one together, my friend, and it's that simple. So don't make it complicated, okay? Jesus said we're one and the same. That's, uh, you know, the devil can really... <laughs> you have to have a spiritual mindset to understand that Godhead... Let's look that up real quick. The Godhead is a very interesting um, term in the Bible. Let's look it up. Acts 17, 29. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone, graven by art or man's device. So this is the word we get in the Bible. We don't get Trinity in the Bible. We get Godhead. I think he's talking about the Trinity. We see the Trinity in a couple of places, although it's not called Trinity. Uh, in John 5, 7, for three are, there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. That's the same elements that Jesus tells them to baptize themselves. Baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We see that in Matthew. Matthew 28. We see here, teach all the nations everything I told you. Teach them that easy part too. Don't leave that out. But teach them what easy means. All right, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded. He says, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. There's three again. But that's basically what's called the Godhead right here, the Godhead. So if you don't like the word Trinity, that's fine. Even though three parts are revealed to us, there's nothing wrong with the Trinity. Oh, but the Babylonian gods uh, had this, this idea of three gods as one. No, that comes from our God. That comes from the truth. Satan's copycatting uh, God. That's all he knows how to do. He, does, he can't create anything on his own. He has to steal. So just because there are false deities that uh, have the idea of Trinity and oh my goodness, um, that doesn't mean the Godhead isn't still made up of three parts. We see Jesus, we see John talking about those three very parts. So don't let it confuse you, man. Um, you know, we can, we can if, we, if we think like human beings, we're going to be confused. But if we think like God, then we'll understand more. Romans chapter one, verse 20 talks about the Godhead again. For invisible things of him are seen from the creation of the world, being understood by the things that are made. For the invisible things are seen by the things that are visible. Even his eternal power, whose? His eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So here's the word Godhead again. That's where you're going to find the Trinity. That's, in my opinion, that's the the essence of God right there. Colossians 2, 9, again, we see, for in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily in human form. Christ Jesus is the image of the Godhead or God. He's the representation of the Godhead on earth. He's the one we see, touch, fit, smell. We, in, we perceive through the senses. He's the physical image of God. And that's all you're ever going to see of the Godhead, I think. Uh, the spirit of spirit is invisible. The Father, I don't think you'll ever see him except in some bright light in your mind's imagination when you pray. Or even if you're in heaven and you're staring at the throne, when you're looking at the Father, it's going to be a bright light and you'll see the Son of God at the right hand and they're always one together. When you see Jesus alone, you're seeing the Father in him. When you see the Father and Christ together, it's going to be a bright light. That's what we're getting from the scriptures. And you're, you're not, you're, you can't perceive into that because we're told that only the Son knows the Father and only the Father knows the Son. And there's a secret going on there. And there's always going to be a secret to God that we're not going to know. Even his name is kept a secret. We know from the scriptures, we're, we know as about as much as we can possibly know about his name. And there's going to be a name given to him that no man knows. Revelation 19, go study to show yourself approved that we are given a name that no one knows, but he who has the stone and who, who's given the name. So there's something still beautifully mysterious about God and always will be. And that's the way it's going to be. And if you don't like it, you can always act like the devil 
and Lucifer and try to be better than God and try to know more about God and to figure out his secrets and find yourself cast out because you think you're smarter than God. And that this is the problem of Satan and, and, and Lucifer. That's probably why he got himself into trouble. He just couldn't accept that, you know. We, I, I can't accept that you have a secret that I can't understand or I can't know, and I will find it. And this is the prideful arrogance of, of uh, the fallen angel. So basically the Trinity is this Godhead that we're told about in three different scriptures of the New Testament. And isn't that interesting? The word Godhead is in here three times. Anybody with me? Give me a seven if you're listening. Three times. Is that a quinky dink? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, you got to love God. You got to love the Godhead. <laughs>